hello guys welcome back so in this video I'm going to show you how to create ad hoc view using custom query in Jasper server so I have connected to Postgres SQL and we have an employee table by default in food mode database so just running a simple query education level and some salary uh, so I'll be creating a pie chart using this education level and salary in uh, Jasper server so this is my custom query I'll just copy this and uh, I'll go to browser uh, log out from this so I'll just uh, log in as Jasper admin so one second I'll just log in as super user for now so here you can see in a repository uh, for the public and uh, in ad hoc components you need to actually create a report unit and uh, topics so using the uh, report unit you can create the ad hoc view so report unit must be published from the jasper studio so i have the jasper studio with me as well so i'll just create first a simple uh, report here so what we say like uh, cufg on custom query for ad hoc view okay so i'll just go next um i have actually configured my local food mod database in my jasper server so this so you need to just configure it so these are my two fields next and finish so i'm not going to use a group by because i have already used a group by in the query itself okay so just go to studio and here we are so now to actually publish this as a report unit we need to go to the repository explorer uh, go to the uh, local host jasper server which where you have configured so in my servers this is my configured one so if i just edit the jasper server you can see local host 8081 super user super user and something organization test and so and so on okay so like this you need to configure once you configure your uh, ja local host jasper server in your uh, repository explorer in servers so you will see this hierarchy so just go to public uh, arrow components and uh, topics right click on the topics create new and select the report unit next and uh, here you need to give the data set name so custom ad hoc query okay so next you can do so where is this file located it's in so you need to just show it so in it is in my local repository just go to local repository upload from workspace so custom query for ad hoc view so this is that which we have created the jrxml file just click on finish you can see here here is a query select educational query educational level and so and so on okay group by education level so this is what we're looking for finish go to next so just browse the data source from the so my data source is directly published in the root directory so this is a postgres so if you hover on it you can see post uh, name is postgres it is directly published in the root directory and type jdbc and so and so on so next so just ignore this part and click finish so if you see here in the topics custom error query has been published successfully so now we can go to our uh, uh, Jasper server and click on create ad hoc view just search for custom so you can see custom ad hoc query so this is a report unit of our query just click on this ok so to the left if you see you have educational level and salary so just drag your educational level to rows and salary to your columns ok 
okay so you get the same values when you compare this with your uh, data from your what you say database viewer so okay so just you can actually right click and do the sorting using descending order and i'll just create some pie chart and drag this one to this that's it so this is how you can actually create ad hoc view using your custom query so you can simply right so view repository samples you can see ad hoc view here so i haven't given any name for that so that's it say. so that's it guys so this is how you can actually create uh, ad hoc views using your custom queries so other the other way is using domains so in the upcoming tutorials i'll be explaining you how to create ad hoc views using the domains concept okay so that's it guys thank you very much for watching